Hi everyone, Donut. No, that's not the right one. How you doing, all you dudes? And no, that's not it either. Ladies and gentlemen, no. hi guys, and welcome to the very first episode of the Try Everything channel. Where this episode, we are going to be getting started on the brew kit here. Now, I have never made beer in my life. In fact, I didn't really like beer up until very recently, but you know times have changed. I've started to grow facial hair. I drink beer and now I drink my coffee black. Yes, I said black. Deal with it. That was right out of the coffee maker, so that was really hot. Ow. Okay, anyway, now we're going to get started. This is the Northern Brewer Brew Kit. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's been about two months since I bought this, that this is the, it's like a Belgian pale ale. Now we're going to get started with this box cutter that I stole from a company that I'm not allowed to name, but let's just say South Park made a video about them. And if you want an idea of how long it took for me to actually start making videos, my cat started using the box as a scratching post. I'm going to put this on the floor and pull things out as they go. Alright, so I got like the envelope and it has... Bunch of stuff in it. Yeah, P paperwork stuff. Yeah. Next, got this box here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably mirror this in post or whatever. Mmm. Paper. Yum. I got some dried malt extract. You can see all that. Got wheat malt extract syrup. Premium hops, German Tetnang Alpha 4.5%. I have no idea what that means. If you haven't guessed, this is my first time ever doing this. Ah, okay, so we got some grains. You can kind of see them all nice in there. Yeah. Anyway. Got some dry wheat beer yeast. Gonna need that. From what I heard, I can't just use regular yeast. Corn sugar or priming bottle conditioned beer. All right, so this is going to be for like the final step so I can like carbonate my beer or whatever. And a cheesecloth, or is this a sock? Did someone give me their old sock? No, this is a cheesecloth, okay. Yeah, nice and soft too. Gonna have to sanitize that now. Got some instructions for the Hanks Hefeweizen. That is a lot of words. We will go over that in a later date. Oh, okay. So this is going to be the beer labels for the bottles that I don't have. Oh, that's it for the first box. On to the next one. Got a lid. The 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 lid. It's got a hole right there. So for the uh, bubbly, I believe it's called, you know, for fermentation. Got a big old stock pot here. Not the biggest one I've ever owned, and it's fucking filthy. Next! This is the fermentation bucket, maybe? It's one of two buckets that are in here. This is either, this one's got like a spout on it, so I'm assuming this is the one that I would fermentate or whatever in and then pour it out so I don't get all the, uh, yeasty boys that are going to be sitting in the bottom of this out. See, I do know a little bit. I watched a couple YouTube videos. The other bucket, same size, also has a hole in it, so I guess I was wrong. Maybe they just gave me two fermentation buckets, because I'm pretty sure I only got one lid. So, whatever. Oh, we're actually getting to the bottom of this box already. Huh, that was fast. Got another long boy box here. A whole bunch of instruments that I do not know what these do. I cannot read that because it's covered by the labor, so I'm gonna go with a Herculometer. It's a Herculometer. There you go. Plastic test tube with rough edges. Thermometer. This is a thermometer. See, you can see the mercury in it. Yeah. All right. It is currently 170. What? We'll figure that out later. 
Got some bottle caps for bottling. Got the bottle bottle capper for bottling. The bubble, which is what I was talking about. This will go right here in this bad boy, which will then go on the bucket. And that's how it will be able to fermentate and let off all that excess uh, CO2 and gases and whatnot without, uh, you know, exploding my bucket in the corner of my closet where it's which it's probably going to be because that's the coolest darkest place i can think of a spring tip bottle fill oh okay so this is the thingy it has a spring tip right in there so you can put this into the bottles so if you're ever wondering how they actually fill those bottles without pouring it all over the place that's what they do they just put it in the bottle and press this little tip right down and it releases some liquid and then when they're done they just pull it right back closes the seal and there to go got some hose it's thicker than i'm usually used to working with got some no rinse cleanser some more no rinse cleanser i'm guessing this is to sanitize stuff yep wash equipment with the solution rinsing is not required okay and spigots i i do have two spigots so i I don't know. Maybe when I'm done making this beer, I can start making some hard apple cider. Wouldn't that be fun? This, this is done. Ah, yes. And the piece de resistance. The lid. Warmer, you're hot, you're on fire! Oh, it burns! Well, that's pretty much it. Um, That's all that was in the kit. So, I'm assuming it's enough. I went through this a lot faster than I thought I would. So, I guess let's go through the component guide. Make sure we have everything we need. Otherwise, I am going to call up Northern Brewer. I will find you. And I will get whatever part I'm missing. Anyway. Need a six and a half gallon bottling bucket. With a dr hole drilled in it. And a spigot. Got the spigot. Got a bucket. One ounce Northern Brewer No Cleanse Rinser. Yeah, we've got two of these, so on track so far. A 5 16 inch ID siphon hose. Okay, so this is the thing that I guess you stick in the gas tank, and yeah, I'm kidding. Don't do that, or do do that. I'm not your mom. Bottle filler. Bottle capper. Bottle cap. Ooh, I'm missing something. I don't have a bottle brush. Those. It was sitting in the corner of the box. I missed it. Yeah, got a bottle brush. Look at that. Wow. That's. That, that's. I'll, I'll, I'm going to stop doing that now. No, you. Bad. Bad. This is a family friendly show where we make beer. The beer recipe kit. I'm going to guess that has to do with the malt extract, the hops, the priming sugar, and the yeast, and the uh, extract syrup, this stuff. Never go anywhere without your malt extract syrup. Stainless steel spoon, got that right there. Huh? Test it out on the altar boys. Grilled plastic lid with another six and a half gallon uh, fermenting bucket. That works. And the airlock right there. And the five gallon pot. Oh, this is only five gallons. That would explain why that lid is dented. You, you, you see that, right? That is mighty boy dented. Holy shiza. Which is what they say in Germany or Belgium, maybe. I don't know. So that's pretty much it for the component guides. Guess we got everything. What's next? Upgrade your brew day. Oh, it's um, marketing stuff. That, that, that's always fun. I mean, what else would you do when someone buys your brew kit, your starter kit for the first time, they have no idea what they're doing? What else would you do then sell them more stuff? There's something else in here. Ah, yes, a coupon. I am going to use this. Possibly. I don't know. The next episode of this series will be to, well, start brewing. I'm going to go through the steps with you. I have never done this before. I'm probably not even going to read it before I start recording. 
That way you know exactly the pain I'm going through. Yes? Hi. You gonna get down? You should get down. Hmm? When in doubt, spray bottle. This is how we're gonna get started. I'm gonna brew this together. This is my first video, so it's not scripted at all. I'm just kind of going off of whatever pops up into my head. Now, that is it for all of this stuff today. Um, the next video, we're gonna get started on the brewing process. I am not going to read a single instruction before I start recording, that way we can suffer through this together. But yeah, that's it. I hope to see you guys the next time, and always remember that if you never try it, you're never gonna learn, so. Get out there, try new things, and who knows? Maybe this is something that I'll be really good at, or you'll be really good at, so. See you the next time. Get down!